what we're building is a mold box to cast uh, more anodes in and see we want this angle on it because that makes it easy for the aluminum to fall out it's actually aluminum and zinc This is Mike, and that over there is Brian. Turn around, Brian. Hello. Bristol Motorsport. It's good to have people here that don't have skills too. As long as you're willing to learn, you're in the right place. Two tops. So we'll be able to kick that in. So before I put this last piece. Use filler rod, you don't use a MIG weld and then soften the MIG weld, round it out. If you got the filler rod, there's no sense of doing it twice. I think. Okay. Cool. And, the, and the MIG's gonna throw some. Yeah. Throw some yeah, I'm not giving you a suggestion. I'm asking. So. Oh yeah, no, I, I don't I, use take a lot. Like I hardly ever. Yeah, I would throw. I would throw a small. Cool. Small, yeah. Small. All right, I got the rod, so that's. You want to put that. The center axis of the spindle with the center of your work. Oh, thank you. If you guys don't watch Tubal Chain, he's he's wonderful at learning how to do this stuff. So align the flat. Just not mm -hmm. used to no pedal. I'm going to use this as my pedal. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a nice idea, and uh, it just doesn't work well on a Tormach uh, 770 because I just don't have the uh, the spindle height with the big vise in here. If I put a smaller vise in, I could use this longer arm, and that would work. Uh, so I've got to always watch for how much clearance I have here. But an inch, this part's a little over an inch and a half. If it was an inch and a half, it'd work, but it maxes it out. And I can't get the longer arm in because no Z, so, eh. It'll work real good for centering over holes. That's one thing it'll work good for. Yeah, it still needs to turn up. So there's two things that work against you yeah. with, with, the, with the tungsten. When it's sharp, it penetrates way better. Mm. And, and, and you can turn tip the torques down, or the temperature down. And as it gets dull, you need to turn it back up. So yeah. Your swoop bow kind of can adjust for that, but if you dip it, you know, if you dip the tip a little bit, it goes. Yeah. And messes it up. So yeah. that's that's heat control there. With a strike arc, you you can't put really put a point on it. Well, this is going to work really well for a mold, though. No, oh, it's going to. So we're back to using my cheapy little sixteen dollar wobble indicator, which Tubal will show you how to use that thing too. Low technology and it works great. Just more steps involved. You got to do one side. Then the other. There it is. doing the job. Yeah, that beautiful. We're going to get really hard on that thing just to make it black. Oh, we're just going to set it down on top of that floor. And you have to reach out to open it a bit. Now I'm going to let you have the tool. Take the weight on it. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I just feel like you can see the first process on You want to do this? No. Sure. But the inside of me is like, hurry, hurry, hurry. No, no, no. There's a soot we're Yeah, I found the soot I needed. Coltar, burns great. Now stand back. It's a, it'll boil. Melting point quite a bit lower? Yeah. Cool. Well, we're, I just love metal casting. But, you know, you took something that you always thought is solid and you turned it into a liquid.
to ignore the grip there. And open. And you got the tool. And that's the third. Third log in there. Okay, a little bit more pushing. There you go. Out there, hold that there. Got a lot of feeling in here. This is to show you that aluminum hitting water is not that big a deal. At least I sure hope it's not. I'll just do a little bit. There it goes. Now, if you pour aluminum on top of something where it can build up pressure, it's a problem. But just going into the water, that is not an issue. But what you will get out of it is some nice artwork. It looks like a face. It does. Looks like a head, doesn't it? Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? That is cool. It'd make a nice hood ornament for a car, wouldn't it? Get all that hair off there. Yeah, we gotta punch those out. Oh shit, look at that. I think we're that. I think we could have dropped, we got it. dropped we got that thing on something solid and then it comes. We got a method here. Something no. here, right? <laughs> Bart and I will be down in Lindale, Texas, November 17th with the Good of the Land Festival. There's a link in the description that'll show you where to go to. On Facebook is where you need to go. You gotta buy a ticket. There's only 3,000 available and they expect to sell out and I think they probably will. So uh, there's a lot of YouTube channels that are coming there. Hope to see you in Lindale, Texas. <laughs> if you show up in Lindale, they'll have a raffle and you can have one of our pieces of artwork or if we have some hot metal, you can win the opportunity to cast your own.